This is Kirk Morrison, proud Aztec alum. November 20th is a huge game for the Aztecs when they host the nationally ranked Utah Utes at Qualcomm Stadium. Come out to the big game against Utah and pick up your very own Kirk Morrison Aztec jersey. Go Aztecs! Uh, number one, thanks for coming out. Uh, obviously, uh, this is, I say that word a lot, but that's okay. We've got a heck of a challenge this week. Um, we didn't uh, play well last week in a lot of different areas, but particularly in holding on to the football. And uh, you can't go down to a team like TCU, who's uh, extremely talented, extremely well coached. Um, very productive in all areas. I don't think there's a weakness when you look at them as a team. Uh, and I think Gary Patterson, his staff do a great job of, uh, of coaching those kids because every time they're playing hard. But, um, you know, we, we got to play much better. We got to improve. And that's our goal every week to, is to improve as a team. And we've got a lot of improvement ahead of us. And so uh, we got to have a great week of work. Uh, with a team that's so multiple like they are on offense, whether they run out of spread or single back or run the option, I mean, is there one thing that you try and take away first more than anything? Uh, you know, we, you've got to be able to defend their, their favorite plays. I mean, I think that's always part of it. And, and you know, the uh, familiarity with the offense, I think we have because of the people that we played so far. But I, I think, you know, what we do, uh, you know, today, what we do Wednesday, what we do Thursday, um, you know, all the way to game time, you know, with what we want to do is, is what's going to be important and how we execute it. On the flip side of that, it's probably the same answer, but they run that, that four, two, five, five DBs. Mm -hmm. That's something that Ryan sees every day in practice. How much? Oh, they're different, though. I mean, because they, they're a little more of an overfront at times and. Uh, you know, not as much uh, true odd front, but you know they, they they've got talented guys up front, and if you're talented up front, you play well up front, it makes the workload for the guys uh, behind you, the linebackers or the or, or the secondary, a, l a little uh, lighter. How do you attack or defend speed? I mean, they well, they've got great speed and they've got great talent, but yeah, I don't think we're a slow football team by any means. So, you know, we we've got a uh, you know, do a great job in reactions from a defensive standpoint in our aggression, how we want to play. And uh, on offensively, I think, you know, uh, again, it starts with being able to run the football. I mean, I think that's a big, a big part of it. And uh, they're, uh, I think, leading the country in uh, defense versus the rush. And so that, that, that would be a great opportunity, a great challenge. Chris, you have an update on Garber? Uh, he won't play this week. Is it just a sprain? Yeah, it's a sprain in his foot. The way this season has gone, Coach, would you agree that now would be the perfect time for your team to face this type of challenge? I, you know, Jim, I, I think, you know, I, I and, and that's a good question, but you look at, you know, we, we, we've, we, we've been a team that's complemented each other pretty well. You know, we needed 48 points up at Wyoming. We need every bit of the 48 points. Last week, we, we uh, had some problems with the football, obviously, and, and the turnovers, but our defense really stood up. Um, if we can improve on some of the big plays we gave up at Wyoming and improve on taking care of the football, I like our football team, you know, and I think – our seniors, and you've heard me say a thousand times, but they've done a nice job of how we've practiced and how we've prepared and how we've gotten ready. Coach, I work with some real uh, deep thinkers over at the TV station. Sure. Every time I show a clip of you, they want to know why you wear a green windbreaker. Well, it's Nike gray. Okay. Baseball gray. <laughs> That's fine. what I was told. <laughs> Don't you feel any better after uh, Saturday's game? A couple days now that you've had a chance to kind of look at things, and you feel a little better about than you did on Saturday night. Right after? Yeah, probably a little bit. I think you know, you're after a game. You know, you're either uh, too happy and you shouldn't be happy, or you're too mad and you probably shouldn't be as mad. You know, because. Uh, 
things are fast. You, you get a chance to relook at some things film wise. You get a chance to, uh, um, you know, see the good things that happen. You know, I think sometimes as coaches, we have tendencies, and I know it's a tendency of mine that uh, I really the negative things are what always you know stays with you. You know, not some of the good plays that were made out there. So you know, I I, I would say I, I, I like you know. I, our team is a smart team. Our team will play together well, and they've been prepared well all week, all, all year. Coach, are you telling them this week, Coach, that you've prepared all year for this kind of challenge? Well, yeah. I mean, I think that's, you know, our goal has always been every week to get better, to play better. And, you know, you don't always do it when you look at, um, you know, okay, you didn't rush the ball as, as well as you wanted to this game. Well, you still got to go back and, you know, make that a goal. Okay, what can I do better individually and what can I do uh, as an offense or a defense, whatever you're talking about, how can we play better and how can I help this team get better? Because, you know, November is the month that championships are played for. Outside of Missouri, you guys have always had pretty slow starts on the road this year. What do you do to try and change that? I, you know, we've talked about that a lot. The kids have talked about it. And, you know, I, I, I don't know if there's any magic wand, Kevin. I mean, I, I think it's just, you know, one of those things. Do we want to start faster? Yes. Are we trying to start slow? No. So we just got to keep pushing it and keep, keep uh, uh, you know, making sure that we've prepared well enough to go out and play fast when we start. Do you think GC is the best team in the country? Well, they're awfully good. I don't know. I, I don't get to watch college football, so I have no idea. I do know I've watched them enough this week to know that uh, they're if they're not the best, they're one of the best. Coach, hey, uh, all signs point to the point table from what we've read and what's been discussed, but uh, wouldn't you say your sights are set higher than that? Well, I think uh, our championship game is where? In Las Vegas? Isn't that right? That's where we'd like to play.